Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel made by Amanda May. And today I'm going to show you how to turn something that's rusty, been outside too long, and metal into something beautiful again. So my specific example is an ashtray that we use for cigars, not cigarettes. I do not condone those. Just want to make sure that's clear up front. But it is metal, it has been outside for a long time, and it is ready for a revamp. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check this project out. Hey guys, this was a pretty neat ashtray. Unfortunately, it has been left outside, and I don't think it was ever meant to be left outside. So this is the rusted state of perfection it's in. What we're gonna do is make it look pretty again, right? And I'm gonna make it so that, hopefully anyways, you can have it outside. Because, well, my honey and his dad love to smoke cigars. And of course they gotta do it outside. Because they can't do it inside. And I don't mind that at all. And He'd like something nice, but this right now, not nice. Step one, let's clean it up and see what we have to work with. So I've got a little scrubby brush and a, I just picked this up actually from Home Depot. It's a stainless steel stripping brush. It should help with all like the nooks and crannies of it all. Once I figure out how to take it off. But like always, first thing we gotta do clean and undo your tools. Ow. Okay. Anyways, I don't know why I had to do that first. So definitely doing this outside is the best bet. I don't want all this rust in my house. This part's wood. Um, so I got, I'm gonna need a little sandpaper for that instead. And I'm gonna not spray paint it. I'm actually going to see if I can't stain that back to like a dark color. Now it's time, paper towel, little Windex. And then it'll actually be ready to paint after we sand this too. So I've got this edge detailing, um, 60 grit. It's pretty coarse. You really don't need this much, but it's what I had already. And so I'm just going to do that on here. Just prime the wood surface as well. split but that'll be okay once we put the primer um, and the stain on there that'll help keep it from getting any worse help seal it all in time to clean so this is glass cleaner it says but I'm pretty sure it's just vinegar. I mean, it already looks better just being cleaned. Vinegar really is an amazing product. It's just a little vinegar, a little water. It's going to take everything, all this dirt and grime, right off. Okay. Bad boy is ready. Ready to paint. That's what this painter tape comes in for. I'm going to wrap this part so that everything else gets the spray paint and this does not because I want this to look like wood. So that's the next step. Painter tape is really a, um, a phenomenal part product. It does so much and it works so well. 
we're just gonna go all the way up. That's simple. We're ready for paint, except we're not gonna do it out here because I don't want it all over my back deck. So we're gonna see if there's any light out front. Okay, so we're gonna try to spray paint. We got some Rust-Oleum. Um, this will help protect it and keep it from rusting any further. I've got an aged copper, which I'm realizing now looks a lot like this bronze. We're gonna try it anyways. Uh, I think it'll look cool when it actually has the color on it. As you can see, it's a little wonky. But first you always wanna shake your can really good. And then, yeah, just, I had to take off this red part. It was protecting it from getting sprayed, but it's gone now. And definitely outside ventilated. So let's see how this goes. I like the color. Okay, I'm not gonna keep messing with it. I'm gonna let it dry. Um, so far, though, it looks pretty spot on. Or maybe a little more messy. I think it should be pretty dry. Um, whoop, at least dry enough to finish the bottom first coat. Because as you can see, it also needs a little bit. But overall, solid. And yes, put on shoes. So I can do this without making a complete mess. So here we go after two coats. I'm really liking this color. I'm gonna let it dry overnight before I take that paint off and do the bottom part. Okay, so it is day two. This has dried, I took off the painter's tape um, and I'm really, really loving the color that uh, the metal part is. But now it is time for the stain. So I also went with a Rust-Oleum. Since it is going to be outside, I feel like that's my best choice. Uh, and it's a gel stain. I've never used this before, so we're going to see how it goes. I really am loving the color. I think it's a really nice dark color that's going to really complement this bronze. So the first step I had to do was stir it, obviously open it up, um, and hopefully these wasps out here are gonna leave me alone. They're making me a little nervous, but here we go. And I also loosened up my bristles because they were a little, they were a little uh, stiff. Just wanna make sure they're ready to go. And this paintbrush is a little wonky. Look at that color. Just get any excess off. If I'm weird, it's because I'm keeping an eye out for wasps. I don't want to get stung. This is so dark. Got this ashtray for $2.99, my local Goodwill. It's smaller than I want, and it's definitely a cigarette one versus a cigar one. 
But I think for the meantime, until I find something a little bit better, it looks pretty cool. I'll take it. So that's our uh, final product. Of course, I gotta take the sticker off, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty wonderful. I'm not in love with that final glass ashtray, but it's all I could find and I have spent months looking for something and frankly for $3, actually the guy got me it for $4. He's like, do you want to round up the change? And I'm like, all right. So I spent $4 on that bad boy at my local Goodwill. I don't know where else you could find an ashtray for that cheap. So in the meantime, we can at least use the whole project. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And otherwise, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next one.